here uh, is a short video on how to make tube, uh, neon, wire, and small accessories. Um, I put a few videos here, you don't have to watch them all, but one with short and good is about how to model nut and bolt. So you might want to check this because uh, yeah, it could be useful, you might need to model some of them um, during your project. So, first of all, I forgot to show something. Usually with um, Neon, you don't really deal with organic. I'm talking about the hardware. But uh, there is something uh, that I'll show again in class, but I could start now. Uh, first of all, if you want to add lines to this, a quick way is to be in Polygon, Shift D and leave in faceted and you say okay and it adds two line and if you shift D subdivide I use sometimes faceted when I just want to add line or Catmull Clark if I want to smooth but here we just want to add line uh, that should be one more maybe voila so if you were to delete four polygon and go delete like I say, neon, I don't think you'll zoom, but look, if I go shift tab, it's not a circle because this is a square. So there is a tool and it could be a, it doesn't have to be four polygon, it could be more. I went shift up arrow to grow. And there is a tool called, I think it's here, here, deform radial. So if you have a square polygon selection and you go radial and then you click, it turns them into a circle. So now if you delete, you've got a perfect circle. This is only if you're going to tab it. But uh, it could be useful. Look, then you go Z to uh, extend the edge and you see you've got a perfect circle. So just keep this in mind. Now, sometime when you'll be doing uh, Neon, you'll need hardware. So the way I make the hardware, uh, you could start with a cylinder like this. In Polygon, you could scale it. So it's not as big. Shift A. And here what you could do, you could uh, add line if you want. First of all, I'll scale it in the Y and then I could add line like this then we can select maybe the top you'll see why I added line in a few seconds B use the red and then we can go bridge to make the hole yeah and as you know, the tube could go uh, through this. Um, here you could switch to edges if you really want to do it well. Double click to select the loop. I'm holding shift. And now you can press B. Uh, you don't need that many. The round could be two. Voila. And Q to drop. And here, if you want, you could add detail. So you could maybe come here and you could go B. And this can go to the wall, you know. Um, you could do like this, like that, to make it flat. You could use the green if you don't want it to stretch. This could be a, a separate object. But you see, it's uh, this is one way of doing a uh, hardware for uh, uh, another way uh, could be to um, maybe start with a cube. select this. You see I, I scale it in polygon so I don't get any weird value here. 
because if you have weird value you need to freeze them otherwise your bevel won't be clean then you can press B and look here we could put more maybe six this time or even five you don't want to overdo it so this side could be rounded here you could do a little bit so it's not as sharp B again here we don't need five two is enough and uh, Q we could do the top two B two is enough and to make the hole because here we're not going to use organic when we want shift tab so uh, a boolean can do it so I'll use a cylinder that I'll scale a little bit move it forward and you remember with boolean you select first the one that will receive the cut shift click the one that will cut geometry boolean boolean always have a last selected not background say okay it looks like nothing happened but if you delete you have the whole oh you I don't think you have to bevel this but let me show you if you double click it take both because of that so what you can do is just click on two you could do that here too up arrow uh, one at a time I think but only do it on the one that you see uh, sorry here start at the line this is optional whoop down arrow if you want to come back B and you see you can do your bevel but if you don't see underneath then don't bother uh, what else um, the actual tube itself there's a few way of doing it one way is to take an empty layer use the tube tool often the radius is too big so you might want to drag this down the side could be 8 or 12 that's fine uh, it doesn't really matter and uh, then you could start drawing so one two so you see I must have zoomed out a lot here so maybe I raise this to 60 mil like that you could shift tab it or you could put more segment that will smoother make it smoother unless you shift tab it after up to you so go slow you could trace something if you go back you can edit them you can also use curve to do a neon but uh, I, I think the tube sometimes it takes a while to tweak it well but I think it's okay if you're gonna shift tab the end is gonna be round so then you might need to add a loop without both sides here and here I'm holding shift so then if you shift a bit hold its edge and uh, there's a lot of things you could do here look you could uh, select this in polygon you could scale this wider if if it's what you're after um, so that's one way of doing it uh, here if it was a large neon you could also look delete the end or if it was a transparent one you could delete the end and go thicken like this if you're going to see through or you need that thickness and you could still shift up if you want the end to be very sharp uh, you select those you go L and you go B and you don't do anything the B actually added two lines so now if you shift tab is very uh, very sharp another way of doing neon or the actual uh, cable is just to use simple curve so you go N uh, it could be any of those curves and look and some students they prefer this they find it easier to tweak 
and um, and remember you can tweak the point in 3D you need to click on the one you want voilà. you could also use the move tool in uh, in point mode and when it's time to render the curve you can actually render the curve here you see and you can say render them as polygon or not how many side so how smooth and uh, how big so if it's a cable it might be thinner 50 mil and you could put a material on this you could press M and I think that's let me think yeah I think that's it